So now I wanted to talk about your uh, upcoming Dark Horse book. Well, there, there's, there's a couple of things. I mean, there's, okay. there, besides the Dark Horse thing, there's something else. All right. Um, you mentioned Times Squared. Mm -hmm. um, I've been hanging around the idea of doing a third and final volume of Times Squared for, for 30 years. And we're in it. Oh, wow. I'm doing it right now. It's called uh, Hallowed Ground Zero. And it's, it, closes, it, it closes the door. Um, 12 pages are finished. The cover's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, pages 13 to 24 are in process. It's all laid out. And um, I can't say when, but it'll be springish, I'm figuring, okay. if not sooner. Well, that's uh, exciting. 48 pages. And the other thing, that we're, and, and then that'll be followed by, this, by the sequel to Divided States of Hysteria, which is titled either Oligarchs or Treason. And what it's about is the collapse of civilization, and no one notices it because of the distraction of media. And it's about a war, a shooting war between left-wing and right-wing oligarchs. It's interesting because uh, I feel like that's very possible with what's happening. I want to get it out before it happens in real <laughs> life. I mean, I, I want to be there before it goes, you know. The other thing, the thing with Dark Horse, is a dream project that I've had for years. That It's, it's almost been, fin been almost finished for the longest time. We're finishing it now. It, w it goes back so far that it was originally going to be serialized in Dark Horse Presents. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's called Sunshine Patriots. This is the first anybody's hearing about this. Very few people know about this book. It's, it's a quasi-Western um, featuring, starring two heroes um, who are veterans of Roosevelt's Rough Riders who, 10 years after the, the assault on San Juan Hill, find themselves out of work and up against it and are hired, by hire, as hired guns by a, a Hollywood studio run by a very fictionalized version of Adolf Zukor um, to protect against the onslaught and first wave of the, of the Sicilian Mafia. So it's a quasi-Western that takes place in the Straits of Los Angeles in 1911, involving money and financing from the Emperor Maximilian of Mexico and an airplane. <laughs> and, um, and it's... Um, I just got the first couple of colored pages from Will Quintana, who's coloring it. Um, and he did uh, coloring for Hey Kids yeah, Comics as yeah. well. And he also did m most of Divided States. And um, he's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. And these pages look absolutely bitchin'. They really look swell. <laughs> um, nice period feel. Um, the heroes are, again, very much inspired by Fafford and the Grey Mouser. Only in this case, Fafford is a, is a, a, a union organizer, and, and the Mouser is a, the, the child of slaves who... Uh, is a very wise and canny adventurer. Why did you pick the early 1900s, 1910 uh, kind of? There's a there's a lot that's not even, uh, you know, we can't r recall back then, and so. But that's when modernity begins. Mm -hmm. That's really when the modern world is invented. Mm -hmm. It really is in that in that that moment, that moment between the, the Wright brothers flying in mm -hmm. uh, at Kitty Hawk, More, yeah. to the to the beginning to, to the beginning of hostilities in 1914. Mm -hmm. In, in, in Europe. That period, that 11-year period, is when everything is conceived. The, the country is wired. Mm -hmm. um, there's telephones. Airplanes show up. Vacuum cleaners. It's just the 20th century really arrives in force. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, significantly, you know the song Only Game? Mm -mm. Many a tear has to fall, but it's all in, a ga in the game. <laughs> all in the wonderful game that we play. Written by the Vice President of the United States in 1910. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I so. have no idea. Okay. So modernity <laughs> begins in this country at that time. We're, we're, no, I, I'm second-gen Ameri American. Where, where are your people from? My, my parents were born uh, in the Middle East. Okay. So you're first-gen. I'm first-generation. I okay. was born here. Okay. And I was, my, 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 my grandparents came over. My mother was born here. And one of the things I've learned from, you know, from when I was a little kid talking to my grandparents who came over in 1909, okay, is they were in Brooklyn. And I've these pictures, this, this sense of a world, this teeming world, that it's there already. Everything we know is already there. What, what, what's, what's gone on since then is evolution and polishing of the, of the nascent jewel. It's there. <laughs> um, you know, Hollywood, telephones, you know, it's just there. And I love the idea of, exp of, of, of jumping in to history and, and, and approaching it as if it's a science fiction landscape and just laying it out as an, as an alternate universe. I did that in, in, in Century West, the thing I did for Disney. Um, I did a, a graphic novel about the, the advent of the 20th century on a small Texas town mm -hmm. and uh, how, it, how it impacted on the locals. 
you know, for comic effect. Um, I mean, there's a wonderful novel by a guy named David Thompson, who's a film critic of great renown. He's written a couple of novels, mostly about the movies. He did a Western called Silver Light, which is just exquisite. It's beautiful. And the theme of this book, which is just resonates so powerully with me as someone who's an, em an emigre to California, having lived the first 35 years of my life in Manhattan, okay, is that with all of the things that came out of the West, the telegraph, the railroad, gold rush, that the movies were the last creation of the American West, and that the American West itself was tamed so that it could be filmed. <laughs> and that's just an absolutely just extraordinary notion. Mm -hmm. It really is. So the relationship between the movies and the West, mm -hmm. just California, mm -hmm. everything, is so profoundly united in my head that it's a story I love telling. I love I that really concept. Do. That's I a really do. That's a fascinating concept. It's a great book. I'd recommend it highly. I'll, I'll check it out. I will. I would. I'll. 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 I'll, I'll promote it like a sign. <laughs>